Hey everyone, it's me Arthur Cade, Reverend Al Sharpton, being here for the Broadcasting and Cable Hall of Fame. Some incredible people being inducted tonight. Talk to me about being here to support this wonderful event. Well, I think that when you have been able to navigate uh, to the Hall of Fame in a industry that's so competitive and that's so high stressful, uh, really is an honor. And I mean, uh, Alfred Liggins is one of those being inducted tonight. I'm here for, I've done talk radio for him for 10 years next February and his TV station, but then all the honorees. And Dr. Phil, I've done his show so many times. But I think people see them and don't realize how hard it is what they do, how disciplined, uh, what kind of sacrifices it makes. So it's good to see them at the top of their game, so to speak, by being put in the Hall of Fame. I, need, I know it means a lot to them because there are many more people that didn't make it than those that we've seen inducted. When you look at, you mentioned Dr. Phil, and I just had the opportunity to speak with him. What makes someone like him so successful for so long? I think that he really cares about what he's doing. He has a passion for it. I think he listens to the public, and I think he has a sensitivity to his viewers. So he's not just doing something that he feels. He's trying to feed a public something that they want and need. So a lot of people may try and marginalize what he does, but he has done it so long to their marginal because they don't understand he's on the pulse of this country.